Hey what's up guys I am here and today we have the W68 Ultra Smartwatch. It is sent by Microware which deals in wholesale as well as retail on their AliExpress store IW Pro Smartwatch Global Store. It is also on Black Friday sale currently and because they are wholesale the prices are very cheap. So are you ever wondering how would the Apple Watch Ultra look like if it was released in black color. So this is how it will look. So in this video we will also check out all of the features of this W68 Ultra Smartwatch. Before we start make sure to hit the subscribe button and help me reach 15,000 subscribers. So first of all let's find out what comes inside the box. So let's open the box. First of all we have the user manual, then the wireless charger and then here is the W68 Ultra in black color. Oh my god. Let's go ahead and take a closer look on it. Let's take off the plastic wrap. So just check this out. It's just looking so much good. So it comes with the ocean straps in black color. So here is how it looks on the wrist. Apple you really need to consider this and the black ocean straps are making a great combination with the black sides of the smartwatch. So aren't you already in love with this color? So let's turn it on. So the CPU included in the smartwatch is RTL8762D. It is said to be IP68 deep waterproof but there is no mention if it can be used while swimming or taking bath so I would not recommend it for bathing and swimming. So first of all we have a 2 inch IPS display and the resolution is 320 into 390 and here is the bezel size of the smartwatch. On the right we have the crown key you can use it to change the watch faces and to animate the icons in the menu or to scroll in a list. Then we have the side button which can be used to put the smartwatch to sleep or to turn on the screen off dial. Then we have the microphone here and here we have the additional holes just like the Apple Watch Ultra. On the left we have the speakers the holes are similar to the Apple Watch Ultra and both of these buttons the side button and the action button have the same functionality which is quite disappointing. And then we have the microphone hole and the additional hole here just like the Apple Watch Ultra. On the back we get the wireless charging and health sensors and we don't have the strap locks but still the grip of the straps is quite good in the smartwatch watch and they don't come out quite easily. Let's check out the watch faces. So the watch faces are also interactive and you can access the applications which are shown on the watch face and some watch faces can also change colors when you tap on them. And if you check the gestures, from top to bottom we have the control center, left to right is quick access menu, right to left we have quick access applications, from bottom to top we have notifications, you can press and hold on the watch face to switch between the watch faces, you can double tap to access Alipe and it does not have tap to wake. It comes with many menu styles, first of all we have this honeycomb menu style which is similar to the watch OS and it is quite smooth. You can see See that the transitioning of the icons into smaller size is quite smooth and the icons are also similar to the watch os so if you use the crown key to scroll all the way up it will open the application which is in the middle and if you scroll all the way down it will animate the icons so let's try out all of the menu styles It uses the M Active Pro application. The watch is detected as Watch Ultra. So there are a lot of watch faces available in the dial market and most of them are available for free while some of them are paid. All of the series 8 watch faces are free. You can go to my dials to use your own picture or video or multiple pictures as watch face. With album dial you can select a single picture to use as a watch face. With photo album dial you can select up to 5 pictures to be shown as your watch faces. Then we have the video dial where you can use the video as a watch face. So you can customize the color of the phone and you can select if you don't want to show the time and if you do then you can choose if it should be shown on the upper right side or the bottom left side there is no option to select the pointer dial if you check out the other functions in the watch application so first of all you can receive notifications of the call without having to connect the bluetooth calling you can also receive the message notifications other than that it can only send the notifications from the applications which are listed here then we have health reminders automatic heart rate monitoring raise hand to brighten the screen so whenever you raise your hand the screen will brighten up you can also push weather updates we have my card you can find the watch using it and the watch will start to ring to easily track it then you can also use your smartwatch as a bluetooth shutter button to click pictures using it then we have receipt code you can also add your favorite contacts in the smartwatch you can add alarms in the smartwatch using the watch application and at the end we have firmware update to connect with bluetooth calling access the control center and turn on this option then connect with watch call and the smartwatch has a speaker and a microphone and you can use it to make calls directly from the smartwatch and you can also receive calls directly on it and it does show the name of the caller without having to sync the contacts and using the microphone you can talk directly into the smartwatch and you can hear the voice directly from the speaker and using bluetooth calling you can also access voice assistant hey siri how's the weather today it's currently hazy and 26 degrees expect 
Other than that, you can use your smartwatch to play any sound from the speaker once Bluetooth calling is connected. The watch also supports NFC. If you check out the health applications, it comes with sleep tracker. We have heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen and ECG level checker. And if you use any of these applications in the air, it will give the error to please try again after wearing. And if you try it on the table, it does calculate the data. And when we try it on the wrist, it gives similar values. So to confirm if the sensors are real or not, I am hosting a live stream on this Sunday where I will be testing all of the Apple Watch Ultra clones with real health devices. So if you are interested then make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for further updates. Then we have breath training and although it is mentioned in the product details but it doesn't come with temperature sensor. If you check out the sports application, first of all we have steps which keeps a track of all of your fitness data including the steps you have walked, the total calories burned and the total distance you have covered. Then we have activity which has a lot of sport modes and whichever one you will choose, it will measure your heartbeat from time to time and depending on the sports you have chosen, it will calculate your total calories burned. Then we have timer and stopwatch to help you out in your workouts. So other than these applications, you can push weather updates, you can control the media playing on your device, we have the play, pause, next track and previous track options here. Information shows the notifications. Then we have calculator so if you need to calculate anything, you can do it directly on your wrist. And you can only add alarms through the watch application. Then we have flashlight which can actually help you out in dark. Then we have fine phone. So when you will use this option, the smartphone will start to ring so you can track it. But one thing that I didn't like about it is that if Bluetooth calling is connected, it plays the sound from the smartphone. Then we have my card. We have receipt code. And then we have settings. First of all, you can select the menu style. Then we have dimming where you can adjust the brightness level. And the maximum brightness level is quite high. The display will be clearly visible in the daylight. The maximum screen on time can be 60 seconds. And if you use the always bright option, it will turn on the screen of dial after a few seconds of inactivity which can stay on forever. It is given very low brightness so it doesn't consume much battery. Then you can set separate ringtones for call, for notification and for alarms. It also has bedside lamp mode so whenever you put your device on the charger it will turn on an always on display with clock on it. You can also set the time directly in the smartwatch or you can choose it to sync with the smartphone. We have do not disturb mode. Let me show you all of the languages supported by it. Then you can set the vibration intensity and you can define the function of the key and whichever function you will choose it will work for both of these keys which is quite disappointing. If you choose none then it can be simply used to put the smartwatch to sleep or turn on the always on display. We have payment preference option. You can connect to the watch application using the QR code. You can add a passcode to add an extra layer of security. About shows the name as watch ultra and the firmware I'm running is NJY N1W 1.1.0. At the end we have restore, reboot and power off settings. It is at Advertised to have 450 mAh of battery and on call mode it can give you 4 to 5 days of timing and with only watch mode it can give you up to 15 days of timing and I can actually see that the battery timing is quite good. I've been recording the video for the past hour and when I started the video the battery level was at 75 and it is still sitting at 75% which is just unbelievable and so amazing. So let's do a smoothness test first of all let's try scrolling and you can see that the scrolling is smooth and the touch response is also quite quick and the touch is also really good that it doesn't open any application while you are scrolling. Let's try in this menu. So just check out the transitioning of the icons into smaller size. It is really smooth. And also this. Let's try the touch response on the home screen. So you can see that the touch response is quite quick and the touch is also quite good. So guys these are all of the features in this W68 Ultra smartwatch. So I am really in love with this black color. It is really looking so good on this Apple Watch Ultra shape. And I would love to see this color in the Apple Watch Ultra. And I think that Apple will make a lot of sales with this color. My favorite feature in this smartwatch was the always on display interactive dials, watchOS icons and a smooth interface. And if we talk about the things that I would like to be improved in the upcoming versions is to get better sensors, strap logs and temperature sensor.
Although the straps hold quite well even without the strap locks, but I think they should still be necessary for the Apple Watch Ultra replica. And if they can add real screws at the back, it will also look quite cool. So if you want to purchase it, I would really appreciate if you can use the link given in the description box below. It's a trusted seller and also the price given is the cheapest on the market because they are a wholesale seller. You can also check out my best Apple Watch series 6, 7, 8 and Ultra replicas playlist. I'm gonna be linking it in the description. To see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and help me reach 15,000 subscribers. And which smartphone should I review next? Let me know in the comment section below. I will catch you in the next one. Until next time, this is iMath. Peace out.